This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Read the code. Investigate the code for this new version of the thermostat app. What's changed? What's been added? Discuss with your partner. Hi, partner on the other end of this computer. Um, oh, oh, and what's happening at line 40? Hover over git text block in the toolbox to read its document. Okay, so what's been changed here? It looks like we're setting at the variable. Nope, that was actually fine because we're going to be changing that down here. Set text. Yep, that's all good. Rounding here, temp C. That's what we saw in the last uh, puzzle. Set, set, yep, this is looking good. Up button, that looks similar. Login. Oh, I didn't see this before. It says hi when you log in. Huh. Let's run it. My name is Mr. Kaiser, right, students? Kaiser. Oh, oh well, caps. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So this is called concatenation. What's happening here is we're taking some text and we're concatenating it well with other text, but text we input. Right, so get text, it's grabbing the text from the screen from this box and assigning it to a variable. Except, except it doesn't make it a variable, it grabs our te text and it smashes it into this, into hi, comma, blank. So whatever I write here for my name, my name is Big Bird. Students, if you call me that, you fail. So uh, my name is Big Bird. I'm going to hit log in and it's going to smash hi, comma, Big Bird. All right. And that's what my name will be equal to. So it grabs text from the screen. It puts it with high and assigns. Now, how it says we should get used to looking it up, though. So if I hover over text over here, get the text from the specific specified element. Oh, that's interesting. Well, what element? Oh, the my name input. What's my name input? Let me go into design. Click on it. The ID is my name. You can also just hover in code mode. The ID is name input, right? So name input, name input. All right. Use concatenation. So that's a fancy word. We can also get more details on get text if I click here for more examples. Super helpful. So we can see a wide variety of ways it will be used. Now use concatenation and con concatenation. It is some fancy way to say smacking two things together. So hi and whatever this text is, that is to concatenate. We're sticking them together. It's like sticking together a cat and someone named Nate, maybe? I don't know. Some way to remember it. Use concatenation. Add an exclamation point to the end of the string. Don't let this word scare you. A string is a word. It could be a sentence. It's just text in quotes. So to the end of a string stored in username. Okay, well, where is username? Hmm. Stored in, I see my name. Let's go up here. That's temp. Okay. That's all of this. Okay. Oh, we need a new one. Using concatenation, add an explanation to the end of the string stored in username. Oh, so they must have switched up the variable on this because they switched it up to. Our, mine doesn't say username. Mine says my name. So I could either leave it as this, I guess, or change it up to username. Now, let me make sure my name was defined way up here. Yes, it was. So I'm going to change it to username. I think they meant my name, but I'll just change it in the code to make sure. Another way to do this would be just to ignore username and think they meant my name. Actually, I'll do that way first, since that's how they have it throughout. Let's first focus on concatenation. So how can I add this? Well, here's my name. Okay, there's a few ways to do this correctly. For instance, I can take my name right after this and say x equals blank. Except I want it to say my name is equal to what? Well, my name plus, and then in quotes, I will add an, not a no, that's not what I'm going to add, or one. I'm going to add an explanation point. So this is just like uh, number equals number plus two. Whatever number used to be equal to, add two to that, and that's the new number. Well, whatever my name used to be equal to, which is high in someone's name, well, take my name, make it equal to whatever it used to be equal to, but slap an explanation point on the end of it. So this will work. Run, um, dude, <laughs> I'm really creative with names. Dude, explanation point. Another way to do this and be 100% correct and maybe is a bit trickier. I'm going to get rid of this for now. Show text. 
I can also concatenate it right here. So I can follow this with a plus sign and an exclamation point. And I can go back to blocks to show you how that would look in blocks. So there's a plus block and, and, and then on the left side of it, another plus block, kind of complicated, but this should work just fine. Reset, run, Mr. Geyser, boom, boom, does the exact same thing. So either of those methods will work to add an exclamation point. Now, if you want to change it to username, their variable name, I, I do think that was just a typo, but you just want to make sure you do all of my name anywhere you find it. So this isn't all of it. That's why it's yellow. We need to go way up here where it was originally declared and change it to that. Boom. Awesome. Let's keep going.